your clinic, Brian, for your graduation. And we have three today, so I'm going to give the floor to you. All right, excellent. Thank you so much. I wrote a little speech today. <laughs> And please excuse me being a little bit wet. It was a monsoon when we were packing the car up. So we're heading home. All right. I'm ringing the bell today to mark the amazing progress I have made at the Spiro Clinic. I've been off crutches for many weeks now and I'm able to drive again. It had been about one year and eight months since I was able to do these things, but the Spiro Clinic helped me get these abilities back. I am mobile now and have much lower pain than when I first got here. I came here unable to walk without crutches and averaging about 7 out of 10 on the pain scale. And now I don't need crutches at all. <laughs> or no mobility devices, no patches, no medicine, no nothing. And I spend most of my time at 1 out of 10 on the pain scale, periods of 0 as well. It is nothing short of miraculous. I'm not yet pain-free or in remission, but I know I'm on track for that now because of this amazing place and the tools I'm bringing home with me. I'm going to keep working hard at home, both physically and mentally. As I continue to strengthen and condition my leg at home, I'll be able to walk and stand for more and more extended periods of time. A little bit about my story. I'm a two-time cancer survivor. I've been in remission from cancer for 10 years now. I first hurt my knee, that's where I um, have the CRPS, at the gym about three years, five months ago. I think the CRPS may have started then, but I wasn't to be diagnosed until one year and seven months later. I was diagnosed with patellar maltracking, that's basically your kneecaps out of alignment, and was told that because my kneecap was 20 millimeters from where it was supposed to be, that what was causing the pain, that's what they told me. I tried physical therapy and a knee injection to try to get out of the pain, and when that didn't work, I opted for knee surgery to correct the pat patellar maltracking. This is when the classic CRPS symptoms started in earnest. Swelling, red, purple, blotchy, and shiny skin, allodynia, heat sun sensitivity, and of course, extreme pain. I tried just about everything, including the standard, standard course of CRPS treatment, to try to decrease the pain and get mobile again, but nothing worked for more than a few days until I came here. I am so grateful to this place for getting me to where I am now. Uh, now for my thanks. First of all, I have to thank my beautiful wife, Kristen. The first time we heard of CRPS was on our wedding anniversary two years ago. It was the day, the literal day. When my orthoped orthopedic surgeon said, your leg is red and shiny, I think you have CRPS. I was kind of lucky, because I know a lot of people don't get diagnosed. And much later, it was kind of an offhanded thing he said, but sent me on the road to get here. <coughs> we were completely deflated then, though. Now we have hope again, and are able to live a more normal life. Kristen has been by my side through thick and thin. She's been everything someone could hope for in a partner and more. And I couldn't be any more thankful to have her in my life. I'm looking forward to continuing this journey with her and living a happy, positive life together. Thank you to my family for supporting me at home. Thank you to all the Spiro Clinic staff. You've all been incredibly helpful to me on this journey. Thank you, Dr. K, for coming up with this incredible program here, it's really remarkable. I see miracles happening here every day, you know, people getting off their mobility devices like I did and getting out of wheelchairs. I mean, if that's not a miracle, I don't know what is. Thank you to Annie. You pushed me when I needed to be pushed and was supportive when I needed perspective. And what better way to give that perspective than being a former patient yourself? I really appreciate everything you've done for me. I don't think I would have made it this far without you, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you to Dr. B, Dr. Lauren, and Dr. T. You're all instrumental in my journey. Thank you to Dr. H and Dr. Lucas. It was great working with both of you. Thank you to Eric, Shane, Colleen, Amanda, Joy, Heather, Cameron, Tyler, Kimberly, Grace, and Katie and Jennifer. We had a lot of laughs in your room. Thank you to Anna 
who answered a lot of our questions prior to coming here and helped facilitate our start at the clinic. Thank you to those who keep our schedules on track throughout the day and the front desk staff who help us patients day in and day out with all kinds of requests. Thank you to all the current patients. It has been great getting to know a lot of you. And thank you to the former patients who have been so helpful to me. And I wish you all the best of luck on your journey. It has been an incredible experience here and one I'll take with me always. milestones that you didn't think you could make and you did this all on your own I was just here to guide you and you have a beautiful pain-free life to look forward to the tools to finish and get into remission at home and you deserve this moment oh, thank you I'm really proud of you thank you, thank you. Oh.